Assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss this exercise 1.1 and the question fifth of this is check whether the relation or in this or is the relation defined in or where or is set of real numbers this or is set of real numbers by or equals to a b such that a less or equals to b cube now this is a diff uh, this relation is defined on or we have to check whether it is reflexive whether it is symmetric or transitive now here this relation is defined as or equals to set of all those ordered pairs a b where a is real b is real as and a less or equals to b cube now in order to prove the result we have to prove it in in a general way but if you have to disprove the result you need just one example now here we have to either prove this is reflexive or we have to disprove that this is not reflexive this means that let a equals to 1 upon 2 because a is real and 1 by 2 whole cube is 1 upon 8 now if or is reflexive this means that for all a belongs to a a, a should belongs to r which implies that in particular for this 1 by 2 1 by 2 should belongs to r now if 1 by 2 1 by 2 belongs to r implies that 1 by 2 minus a is less or equals to b minus second a 1 by 2 whole cube which is 1 upon 8 by cross multiplication 8 is less or equals to 2 so this means that this statement is absurd hence our assumption that r is reflexive is wrong so this means that 1 by 2 1 by 2 does not belongs to r hence there exists an element 1 upon 2 which belongs to real or which is real such that 1 by 2 1 by 2 does not belong to r hence r is not reflexive r is not reflexive now for symmetric here 1 by 2 belongs to r because 1 is always less or equals to 2 cube so this means that 1 is related to 2 but 2 is 2 1 does not belong to r because 2 is not less or equals to 1 cube if 2 1 belongs to r it should imply that 2 1 less or equals to 1 cube that is 1 that is 2 is less or equals to 1 which is absurd hence r is also not symmetric because 1 2 belongs to r it does not imply as that 2 1 belongs to r similarly we have two elements of the form of a b and b c which is 3 3 by 2 3 by 2 and 6 by 5 these belongs to r because first is less or equals to second cube in this first is less or equals to second cube so this means that these belongs to this and we have elements of the form of a b and b c now if r is transitive this should this implies that element a c should belongs to r here element a c is 3 and 6 by 5 ordered pair but this does not belongs to r because 3 is not less or equals to 6 upon 5 whole cube so this means that this relation is neither reflexive nor transitive nor this symmetric now question number six is now relation r is defined in a set or on a set one two three which is r equals to one two and two one now we have to check that this is only symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive now for reflexive here 1 belongs to A or 2 belongs to A, 3 belongs to A. But 1, 1 or 2, 2 or 3, 3 does not belong to R because this R contains only two elements. So it is not reflexive. Similarly, transitive for symmetric. Similarly, here 1, 2 belongs to R. Now it implies that 2, 1 belongs to R because 2, 1 is here. Now here this 2 1 implies that 1 2 belongs to R this means that it is by the definition it is symmetric relation. Now here we have elements of the form of one A B and B C that is 1 2 and 2 1. Now if R is transitive then these two elements should imply that A C means first and last 1 1 should belong to R but 1 1 is not in this uh, R so this means that this R is not transitive because there exists elements of the form of a b and b c which does not imply as that a c belongs to r hence this relation is only symmetric but not reflexive and transitive now 
Now, relation is defined on a set A. We have a set A where set A is the set of all books in the library. Now, defined by or x, y means those books are related to each other through this or if they have the same number of pages, same number of the pages where x is book, y is book. We have to prove that or we have to check that this relation defined on the set of books is simply equivalence relation. You know that equivalence relation is that relation which is transitive, which is reflexive, which is symmetric. So in order to prove that this is equivalence relation, we first we will check, we will prove that this is reflexive, transitive and symmetric. Now for reflexive, let x belongs to a means x is the book. Then number of pages of x is number of pages of x because both books are same. Hence x x belongs to R. Means x is related to x. Hence R is a reflexive because this is arbitrarily book or arbitrarily element. For symmetric, let x y belongs to R. Now symmetry means this x y belongs to R should imply that y x belongs to R, which implies that number of pages of x equals to number of pages of y. Or we can simply say number of pages of y equals to number of pages of x, which implies that y x belongs to R, hence R is symmetric. Now for transitive, let x y belongs to R and y z belongs to R. Transitive means that these elements should imply that first and last component that is x z belongs to R. Now x y belongs to R means number of pages of x equals to number of pages of y. Y z belongs to R means that number of pages of y equals to number of pages of z. From these two statements, we conclude that number of pages of x equals to number of pages of z because if a equals to b, b equals to c implies that a equals to c. That is why x z belongs to R, hence R is transitive relation. So, from this, we conclude that this R defined on the set of books or in the set of books is simply equivalence relation because it is both reflexive, symmetric and transitive relation. Now here, question number 8 of this is, a relation is defined in a set A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is some first 5 natural numbers. By those ordered pairs A, B such that the mod of A minus B, that is positive difference, is always A1. We have to check that this is the equivalence relation and also find we have to find it is this equivalence clauses here a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and r equals to x y such that mod x minus y is a1 now you can easily check that this is reflexive transitive and the symmetric because for reflexive x belongs to a minus x minus x is 0 which is a1 so it is reflexive uh, symmetric means x minus y is a1 implies y minus x is a1 again symmetric so for transitive x minus y is a1 y minus z is a1 implies that x minus z is a1 so this means that you can easily check that this relation is reflexive transitive and symmetric now if we consider you know this set a1 equals to 1 3 5 a2 equals to 2 4 these are the two sets clearly if we consider 1 3 Minus 1, 3 belongs to R. Minus 1 is related to 3 because mod of 1 minus 3 is 2, which is A1. 1, 5 belongs to R because mod of 1 minus 5 is 4, which is A1. Also, 5, 3 belongs to R because mod of 5 minus 3, that is A1. So, each and every element of A or every element of A is related to all elements of A. So we can simply say that all elements of A1 are related to each other. Similarly, if we consider elements from A2, which is 2 and 4, so 2 and 4 belongs to R, or 4 and 2 belongs to R because mod of 2 minus 4 is A1 or mod of 4 minus 2 is A1. So this means that all the elements of A2 are related to each other. Here A1 contains odds, A2 is A1, A1 set. Now, if we consider elements from A1, one element from A1 and second from A2, that is li like if we consider 3 and 4, or 1 and 2, 5 and 4, 5 and 2, it is odd minus A1 or A1 minus odd. 
a1 minus odd or difference of odd minus a1 is always odd so this means that no element of a2 is related with any element of a1 or vice versa so this means that all elements of these two sets are related within the set while they are not related to each other so this means that they are also their intersection is empty and their union is set a because 1 2 3 4 5 is simply a 1 union a 2 so these are the two required classes because equivalence class means when elements are related within the set while as these elements are not related to any element outside the set so this is the definition of equivalence class and equivalence relation partitions partitions means when a set is divided into the disjoint sets here these are disjoint sets and these are the two required equivalence classes so thank you